Within near bomber range of Tokyo's front yard, an American task force moves on Saipan, strategic Jap island base in the Marianas. After four days of air and naval bombardment, United States Marines take over. Almost 10,000 casualties, three times our losses at Tarawa. Part of the extensive equipment installed by the Japs on Saipan, this ruined mill produced tons of sugar annually. This blow, so close to Japan and the Philippines, handed the enemy a real jolt. Jap soldiers and civilians are cared for by our troops. Neighboring islands of Tinian and Guam were also given a terrific going over. Our own wounded are attended. And from a moving vessel, other casualties are transferred to a hospital ship. Our carrier-based flyers destroyed over 700 Jap planes in this task force operation. From the shambles of Saipan's bloody beachhead to the summit of Tepachau's 1,500-foot peak took 11 terrible days. These newsreel Navy and Marine Corps pictures bring home to us the awful price of war. Governor Dewey holds his first press conference since his nomination for the presidency, stressing his full approval of the Republican platform and denying that he will resign as New York's governor to campaign. The charming Mrs. Dewey, too, has a word for the press. Firmly, she says she will make no speeches, leaving all campaigning to her husband. And if her Mr. Dewey enters the White House, she hopes to keep family life normal as possible. Answering General Mark Clark's call for more wax in Italy, a fresh detachment arrives at Anzio. They settle into their new life quickly, but sometimes they struggle with problems that are just too much for them, as these Signal Corps pictures show. A soldier and a gentleman, say we. Like all GIs, their favorite moments are reading your letters from home. Gallant ladies on the war front. Gallant, too, are these Canadian girls. They flinch at nothing, as these Canadian Army film unit pictures prove. Just like our wax, more and more are headed for the battle zone. Cutting the number of casualties in this war are the modern Allied Field Hospitals, as complete as any you know. Again, brave women work alongside of our men close to the firing lines. The surgeon sees an x-ray of the shrapnel wounds. You can see that every modern facility known to medicine is available to our boys. Yes, women are working at the job of winning the war far from home. General Doolittle in England reviews wax that have distinguished themselves. Women are doing their part. The Allied beachhead in Normandy is forged into a major victory. A Nazi tank gets it. Airborne troops continue to pour in. Allied air supremacy permits this type of reinforcement for the complete conquest of the Cherbourg Peninsula. Completely surprised by the furious assault, many Nazi tanks are caught. 
Isin Yi is left a shambles. Here are a few of the 28,000 prisoners taken by the Allies during the campaign. The fight is completely gone from these heron folk, who at that are considerably luckier than these Germans. Over 5,000 Allied soldiers' lives was the price we paid. Ruined Nazi equipment testifies to the savage Allied attack. Another Nazi Superman idea that flopped. The doodlebug tank, remote control that was supposed to carry explosive death. Right now it's a nice toy for the Yanks. And so are a few other pieces of equipment that are being turned against their inventors. Onward toward Cherbourg. And can you imagine real eggs, genuine hen fruit? When American troops move in, famine moves out. This sweet old lady makes a real hit with Mr. G.I. Joe. 